We now want to talk about how you're going to solve rational equations. <clears throat> so what exactly is a rational equation? Okay, so when you looked at something like this, right, x minus 3 over 4 is equal to 5 over 14 minus x plus 5 over 7, this is just a linear equation with fractions, okay? So all you're doing is you're solving a linear equation with, with, with constants in the denominators, okay? Now a rational equ equation like this one here below Okay, and just to go back, this is just a linear equation. All right, includes at least one variable in the denominator. Like if you look here and here, you see that it's got a, a variable in the denominator. Okay, so for our next example, what we wanna talk about now is how we're gonna solve these rational equations, okay, where there's a variable in the denominator, okay? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to solve this, this problem here. So what we do is we check for restrictions on uh, the variable by setting each denominator equal to zero. And what this restriction tells us is like, look, whenever you plug zero in here, like I'm going to take 2x, set it equal to zero. I'm going to take 3x, set it equal to zero. Whenever, and solve both, whenever you have x is equal to zero, this cannot be a solution to this equation, okay? Right, that's really important. It, it cannot be a solution to the equation. All right, so let's talk about how you're going to, to solve this, okay? And it's just like how we were doing in some of these previous examples. You're gonna get them over them, get it over an LCD. Okay, that's the goal. You're gonna get it over an LCD. All right, so we see here, if you look at the numbers, so the LCD of 2x, 3x, and 18, okay? The LCD here, well, I can make the 2 and a 3 and 18, right? But I can multiply the 2 by a 9, the 3 by a 6. And so this X is this leftover piece, right? So the LCD here is going to be 18X. So what you're going to do is you're going to multiply everything, both sides of the equation, by 18X, right? So I'm going to take this 5 over 2X is equal to 17 over 18 minus one over three x. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply both sides by 18 x. All right, now watch what happens. When I multiply here, right, the two and x are gonna cancel here and make this just a nine, okay? Right, I'm just gonna simplify this. So nine times five gets me 45 is equal to. Now when I distribute here, okay, so I'm gonna get 17 over 18 times 18x minus one over three x, and I'm gonna distribute here, times 18x. Well, the 18s are gonna cancel, so I'm left with 45 is equal to 17 times x. And then what's gonna happen here? x and x are gonna cancel, and the three and the 18, this is gonna to reduce to six. Oh, well, now check this out. Now this is just a linear equation. So I'm going to add 6 to both sides. Cancel. So 45 plus 6, I'm just going to move this over here. Gets me 51 is equal to 17x. So I'm just going to rewrite it. So 17x is equal to 51. So then what are you going to do now? You're going to divide both sides by 17. Well, the 17's cancel. 51 divided by 17 is three. So we, we, we were able, we were now able to solve this, okay? And you can check this on your own by plugging it in and, and, and verifying and seeing what you get. But, but, what you'll, but what you're seeing here is the same process, right? We're gonna, we're gonna find the LCD. We're gonna put everything over the LCD and then we're gonna simplify and you're gonna be left with just a linear equation. It's gonna, it's, it's really good. Okay, let's try another one here. Let's look at this one. Let's look at 2 over 3x plus 1 fourth is equal to 11 over 6x minus 1 third. All right, so you got to look at all the numbers here. So the first thing you got to do is you got to find the LCD. Okay, 3, 4, and 6, the, the, the constant there, the coefficient is going to be 12. And notice how there's an x. So I'm going to bring that over here. So that's the, that's the LCD. 
So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna multiply each side by 12x, okay? So just distribute here, okay? You get 12x times two over three x plus 12x times one fourth is equal to, distribute here, 12x times 11 over six x minus 12x times one third. So now simplify. So what's gonna happen here? The x is gonna cancel. The three is gonna make the 12 a four. So four times two gets me eight plus. The four here is gonna make this 12 a three. So three x times one, so plus three x is equal to. 6x is gonna make this 12x just a two. So two times 11 becomes 22. Minus this three is gonna make the 12 a four. So four x times one, it's me minus four x. Okay, so now what are we gonna do, do here to solve? Okay, so you wanna bring everything to one side. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add, I'll, I'll do the variables first. I'll add four x to each side here. So these are gone, so I have eight, plus seven x is equal to 22. Let's subtract eight to each side. So these cancel, so I'm left with seven x is equal to 22 minus eight. What does that get me? Gets me 14. Divide both sides now by seven. This is great how easy this is working out. Sevens cancel, 14 divided by two, or excuse me, 14 divided by seven is equal to two. And if you look here, going back, the only restrictions you couldn't have, you couldn't plug a zero in for X, right? If you plug a zero in for X, you get a, a divide by zero you can't have. So this, this solves it, this works. This, this absolutely can be a solution here. All right, let's try this next one here. Make it a little bit, a little bit harder. Let's look at three divided by 2x minus 2 plus 1 half is equal to 2 over x minus 1. First off, do you notice here that you can factor the denominator? So just a little key here, factor the denominators if you can. So I'm gonna factor the two out here. So this becomes three over two times x minus one plus one over two is equal to two over x minus one. So now you, what you can see here is you can find the LCD, right? So I'm gonna build it. There's a, there's a two, so I'm gonna bring a two over. And then there's an x minus one, I'm gonna bring that over. Perfect. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply everything, literally everything by the LCD. So this is two times x minus one times three over two times x minus one plus two times x minus one over one half is equal to two times x minus one times two over x minus one. Now watch what happens here. Cancel, cancel, you're left with a three plus cancel the twos, you're left with an x minus one times one, which is just x minus one, is equal to, x minus one is gonna cancel with this one, and two times two gets me four. So next, looking back here, let's, let's, let's simplify this. So, you know, x minus a three and a minus one, I get x plus two is equal to four. Subtract the two from each side. And what are you left with here? These cancel you're left with x is equal to two. Which works, because the only restriction, if you look back here, the only value that would, would get a divide by zero is a one. So if you had a one in here, uh, you, you would have an undefined expression. So we worked out perfectly. This is the solution, x is equal to two. All right. Let's now Let's now try this one. Let's look at three 
over x plus 3 is equal to 5 all over 2 times x plus 3 plus 1 over x minus 2. All right, so let's look at the LCD here. Well, look, there's each, let's start with the 2. There's a 2. Now I've got an x plus 3. And my other remaining term is an x minus 2. All right, so literally, I'm going to multiply everything by this LCD. Okay, so this is 2 times x plus 3 times x minus 2 times this expression right here is equal to 2 times x plus 3 x minus 2 times this. All right, so watch what happens. When I distribute here, this is going to cancel with this. 2 times 3 gets me 6 times x minus 2. Now look, when I distribute this here, the 2 and the x plus 3 will cancel. So you're left with 5 times x minus 2. When I distribute here, the x minus 2s are going to cancel. So plus 2 times x plus 3. Now distribute. I get 6x minus 12 is equal to 5x minus 10 plus 2x plus 6. Ah, perfect. Very simple linear equation now to solve. So I've got 6x minus 12 is equal to 5x plus 2x gets me 7x and minus 10 plus 6 gets me minus 4. All right, so what are we going to do next here? Let's subtract 6x from each side. Cancel. So I've got minus 12 is equal to just, this is just x minus 4. And then finally, let's add 4 to each side. You're gone. Minus 12 plus 4. This gets me x is equal to minus 8. Which is fine, because the only two values you can't plug into this expression are 2, because if you plug 2 in, that would be a divide by 0, and minus 3. So again, so what you're seeing here, class, is the key. The key is finding the LCD and then multiplying everything by the LCD. It'll cancel out, and you'll be left with a very simple linear uh, equation to solve.